All right, let's do the uh, Too Faced I Want Candy tutorial that I promised. Um, excuse my hair, it was in a ponytail because I went to the gym this morning. So anyway, if I waited till all the stars were lined up, we'd never get this done. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to let's see I don't know how to begin let's see my face feels a little dry because I just took my makeup off so that I could put more makeup on so I'm going to use this Epiance Renewal Facial Lotion it's it's soothing I don't know what the ingredient is in it but it feels good but it feels good. My face feels dry. Um, feels a little chap. I used the Estee Lauder uh, makeup remover wipes. So if any of you have tight, uncomfortable skin, that is not your wipe. Wow, what a ridiculous hair. So sorry. Let's just go ahead and do a ponytail. It might be better than the alternative, right? It looks ridiculous. Let's see what we can do here. That looks, that looks better than what I got going on here. How about... How about... A low... A low do. Okay, so I'm using a ponytail holder to... Get my hair in a low do. Um, let's get some, uh, let's do something with these bangs. And we're going to take the wind blown. There you have it. A nice pony for a for a toot. It's called a toot pony. All right, I'm going to use uh, my pop face magnet. This is uh, Heather's favorite. Heather's in the comments. Uh, beguile me. She's the real pretty blonde in the comments. This is her favorite uh, primer. And I think when she found out that they were going out of, uh, they were going to discontinue it, she bought them all up and she sent me a couple. And I admit it, it is, it is fab. This is just regular double wear foundation. And I'm going, why am I using that? So I can uh, show you all something different. Oh dear, got too much. It's, the the numbers on that I see that the, uh, I think Lindsay is her name, the girl that takes care of me at the Estee Lauder counter. I think she wrote 2W something, I don't know. Maybe 2W1. I do not know. Anyway. It's obviously warm though, right? And this is the Urban Decay... Whatever it's called. Optic Blur. This might could use some... Um, The beauty, a damp beauty blender because I got it on generously and it fit. try to cover up the age spot. What am I doing over here? I'm covering up facelift scars. Y'all know I've had a facelift 
whoever that person was that was trying to be a, a hiney about, about the work of it. She says, if you don't mind me asking, have you had any work done? Where have you been the last five years? The last three, anyway. How long have I been doing YouTube? Do y'all know? I don't remember when I started with the original, the original channel that I took down. Yeah, I'm kind of dotting now. My skin, my skin is peely. I'm scared I'll get a big, I get, I'll make the skin ball up. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's trying to do. I'm going to go get a damp beauty blender because my because my makeup looks cakey. Hold on. Okay, this is a LaCroix, a lime LaCroix, two stevias, and some organic lime juice. Uh, no, it's not as good as a margarita. But, the, uh, the mixer had so much sugar in it, the mixer I was using, it was making me feel bad. And I wasn't sleeping as good the next day. Okay. There's enough foffing about with that, right? Okay, um, eyeshadow primer. We're going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion today. I'm going to use my favorite. It's the Multitasker Brush from Sephora. And I'm going to put a light coat on my lids. And under my eyes. So the other day when my um, makeup trial shit the bed, due to circumstances which I didn't I didn't foresee. Um I went to Ulta instead of going straight home after after I found the office boarded up. Um and I, I bought the I want candy pal. And it does smell good. I'm going to do a light dusting of whipped cream. Actually, I'm going to do a light dusting of banana cream pie across my lids and brow. Now, and now my eyelids smell good. Alright, let's do some color now. I'm going to take a tapered blending brush. It's a small tapered blending brush. It's an E45 and it's from uh, Sigma. And I'm going to take the color Raspberry Cocoa. It's a, it's a cooler crease color than, and I'm going to carry it up here under the brow, under the, under the front of my brow.
and in the corner here. There, tote berry. And concentrate that in the corner even more. Uh, these shadows are easy to work with, I would say. They're not they're not overly pigmented. They're you know, where they would cause you a problem. Tote berry. Right here in the outer edge. That's really pretty. I'm going to take a small. This is a Morphe 168. And I'm going to run that tote berry underneath my eyes. And on the top, on just the outside. I'm going back with the original brush and the uh, raspberry cocoa. And bring that to the inside some. Take a, a fluffy brush. This is uh, E40 from Sigma. And I'm going to buff this outer corner some. Let's do the uh, the moving lid part. I'm going to take the uh, whipped cream and I'm going to look straight ahead into the mirror and concentrate the whipped cream right over the colored part of my eyeball. Now I'm going to take Rockstar. Rockstar is one of my new favorite liners. And I'm going to put it in the lash line. And I have skin peeling off.
Looks like they're walking their dog without a leash. I don't mind. Just the neighbors get shitty. Even if you have a good dog that doesn't that doesn't run off, that stays right there with you, they get shitty if it's not on a leash. I know, rules are rules. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm putting the rock star in the top lash line. And I'm bringing it up a little bit. I'm bringing it up a little bit on the outside. Actually, this is hard to, it's hard to smudge with your non-dominant hand. It's hard to get the right touch. And then I'm smudging the corners like that. It needs sharpening. It's, it's being a... I don't want to scratch my eyeball with the wood. Rock star on my waterline. This is a very cool brown. It could be called taupe. So we had cauliflower crusted pizza again last night. with a big handful of uh, arugula on top. Um, another fun practice, I think. Uh, uh, you just experiment with it and see if it doesn't make a difference in your life. Uh, I won't name all the benefits of doing this, but see if it doesn't change things for you. Eat a big like what the hell eat a big handful like this of raw leaves either spring greens or baby arugula baby arugula is better than arugula arugula or what else watercress or something like that eat a big pot Where's the lid? Uh. Eat a big pile with each meal. In the morning, well, in at brunch, we don't eat first thing in the morning. We have those two lattes in the morning, which is like eating. Um, at brunch with your eggs, a big pile. Have a hamburger patty at lunch with a big pile of raw greens. Don't put oil or, you could put oil and lemon juice on it, but we don't, we just eat the greens with the meat. See if it doesn't make a big difference in the way you feel, in the way, just everything. So I'm taking the sugared strawberry. And putting that around the perimeter of the bright whatever it was whipped cream that's what we have so far so anyway where was I going with that we're eating, uh, we had a big pile of arugula on top of our cauliflower pizza last night. It was good. And it was filling. And then we had Halo ice cream a couple hours later. I know, you're not supposed to eat right before you go to sleep. Anywho. Alright, yeah, I'm using Tanya Crooks. The, gra the brow gal, and I'm using the center color. And I'm using the brow gal utensil implement. 
angled brush. And if you take it and put the pointy end down and flick up, get some little sprigs in the front. All right, I used the curvy contour in the perimeter of my face and I blended it with the uh, Beauty Blender and then I set it with the Ritual by La Mer. And um, I put on some mascara and I used the Stila. Uh, I can't remember what was it called. Huge Extreme. Um, I do want to accentuate the center of the eyelid one more time. And I'm going to use yet another color. It's called Frosted Pink. And I'm going to put that on my eyelids too. So the eyelids have the whipped cream, which is frosted. Then I put the uh, strawberry, sugared strawberry, and then I used the frosted pink all on my lids. And the lipstick is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Kelly and Frenemy Lip Liner. My blush I want to use today is a plum it's a Lancome blush. I think it'll be perfect for this look. And I'm going to use my mop brush that I got at Hobby Lobby. This, this color is absolutely perfect with this. It's very pretty. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you buy the, uh, if you're tempted by this palette, I think you'll enjoy it. You can do, you can do, uh, there's no wild, wild colors in it. Uh, there's not very many mattes. So if you like mattes, don't get it. But if you like bright, frosty stuff, you might like it. Anyway, thank you for your patience with my camera overheating. And we'll talk to you soon. Ta-ta.